per chance. Right. Okay. Your locomotive has been run round and your train is almost ready to depart for Darlington. Press T to open the doors uh, and let the passengers on. You should have an easy run, but traffic around Darlington may be a bit heavy. You'll need to start up the Class 35 before departure. Okay. Press Z then. There we go, all started. There goes a good train. A good train. A good train. The shame of it. The shame of it. What are we on anyway? Don't tell me we've only got two carriages behind that big loco. We have. Oh, it's the failed DMU, isn't it? That's right. I remembers now. See, I remembers the story. Right, let's put it into forward. And clear the uh, thing that didn't come up. All this echoing. Why do people put big echoey... It's Sprinter. Sprinter did this to me on the last one with the big echoey steam loco. Ah. Almost done. No, not yet. It's still not done. Right, let's jump. Let's jump out and see if we can get a sneaky snappy snap. Uh, that'll do. Sneaky snappy snap. Get on the train, Mister. Otherwise, you'll be late. Doors closed. Right away, the next stop is Broomy Law. Brakes off, let's get rid of them. Let's do it on the keyboard. Disconnected from chat? I hope not. Come on, work. Right, 20 mile an hour limit as we come out. There we go. Question Do panniers echo? Uh, I don't know. I guess everything echoes. Or oh, have I missed something? Are you winding me up again, Fab. Right, we're about to enter the 45, and then we can get a move on. Down to Broomy Law. There's the 45. There's a rat coming the other way, which is quite difficult because we're on single track, aren't we? Who is this actual double track? Oh, it's double, he's just had the signal. We've got the red, uh, the green even. Duck quacks apparently down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Speedings! Let's get back in the cab. Yeah, nice one, Fab. Uh, I wonder if we can actually prove that duck quacks don't echo. Put a duck in an echo chamber, see if see, see if it if it works. Broomy Law Headshot and then into Broomy Law Platform. There's going to be a message pop up. Almond Blossom, hello and welcome. How are you today? Right, how are we doing? How are we doing for time? Oh, we're going to be early. Nice. We can just let that roll then. Let's take a, a passenger view. Ta -ta. Let's fly. We've got no lights on. There we go. We have now. 
Unfortunately for your joke, someone did. Oh, okay. So they do echo then. <laughs> it set the klaxon off. Oh, another QI fan. <laughs> I love QI. Where are my mods? Mr. Scotsman's not doing his job properly. Should we make him have a donut? You're good. Uh, I'm very well, thank you, Armand. Let's hope we don't fail today, then, if it's your first time viewing. Get both uh, both carriages onto the platform, and then we can stop there. Hey, Jill, welcome, stranger. Indeed, glad to have you back. You're here, but nine hundred percent capacity. You've got other things on your mind. Not a problem. I'll do the commands myself. Right. Anybody getting on? I missed. I missed if anybody got off. They had a good ride though, so I don't think anybody would have. Right, let's come along here, and then we can come up here. Oh, through the tight up here, through the door, literally, and out onto the road. Let's watch trains. Hold well on. That one's not going to go anywhere without me driving it. <laughs> uh, I did miss CK going rolling, rolling. Uh, right away, the next stop is Winston. Let's go. Break off. I'm here with my new camera, look. Let's cross the bridge and once you go the other... Too late, we jumped in the cab. He died coming... Uh, okay. What happened to the person who invented the knock-knock jokes? Uh, I have no idea, Dash Dick. The comedian you saw last Sunday discussed this. Oh, he died coming... Uh, okay. He got a Nobel Prize. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Are we starting that again, are we? <laughs> That's the deep <dick> coat. <laughs> Back, so I had a few internet issues. Oh, how much do I believe them internet issues, Scotsman? Hmm. You can't repeat his take on it. Yeah. <laughs> Which comedian was it, Fab? Oh. Show yourself out. <laughs> um, Scotsman, you missed a new viewer. I had to do all the commands myself. Honestly, what do I employ? What do I pay you for? Keep it between 40 and 45. It says we're going to be early, so I can deal with early. Andrew O'Neill. 
Ah, oh, okay, I think I know. He's, he's the Irish one, isn't he? Uh, like, mid-50s. Well, maybe late 40s. Speeding again and coming into a station. Thirty-seven. Uh, new day. How often should you clean the intakes covers for a computer? I have no idea. I don't do mine. Who isn't a big name but very funny? He took us for a drink afterwards because he had to kill time for his coach back to London. Oh, nice. That'll be why I've never heard of him then. before the fluff gains sentience. Winston. Let's not overrun this one. We're going to overrun it. Remember, it only counts if the front doors don't open. So I have a whole loco's width to go. Nice. Matthew's back. Hey, welcome back, Matthew. Right, we've got to sit here for a minute or two. Let's take a snappy snap. Uh, let's go that way with the with the gate. There we go. Early does not compute. <laughs> Maybe this is it. Maybe this is how this stream is going to go. Right, how are we doing for time? Forty-five. Blue screen. Damn, are you broken down and being used as coaches. Yep. Ooh, another tractor. This one's on a goods train. Taking milk and concrete cement and boxes of things. Right away, the next stop is Gainford.
Ooh, that sounds fast. Oh, it's very fast. <laughs> Let's slow that back down. What scenario is this? This is the morning shift part three. There we go, slow it back down. But yeah, we can uh, come right the way back. Don't want to be too early, do we? You askable, you know that my Sunday time is five o'clock. Oh, you're talking about at the station stop. Yeah, she's not here. Well, that's another matter. Anyway, British Railways. Through the distance. I'm doing quite well on this one, actually. Apart from the fact I've been speeding. Didn't get clocked though. That's how we like it. Let's not get the seat. Let's stand on top of the coaches. Do the whole... Let's break, otherwise we're not going to stop. It's a shame most of this network got pulled up, it is. It's a shame most of any network got pulled up. Right, there we go, in to stop. How many people get off my train now I've been speeding? Let's count them. Oh, loads. Two. Oh, maybe not loads then. Just two. <sighs> Mr. Beeching was a bad man. Mr. Mr. Beeching who is trying to make the best of a bad situation with an agenda. But yeah, he was a bad man. <laughs> they didn't think it through. That's the problem. And pretty much like what happens on the network today, they don't think it through. They don't have contingencies. It's just, yep, we'll do this. Yep, we'll do that. Yep, we'll do the other. Rather than actually thinking, right, now if we do this and we prepare for this, then if this happens, we can do that. Like if they'd have closed the lines but left the rails down for ten years, then more preservation would have been round, and they could have reopened the ones that didn't get taken. Right away, the next stop is Pierce Bridge. Oh, no, we don't want that view. We want that view. He's missed the train, look. Bye. Take the brakes off, Captain. Right, let's get a skatey on. Interesting tidbit. In the late 80s, there was a miniseries, a miniseries called Piece of Cake, and as part of that, they filmed the Spitfire going under a bridge over the Tees at Winston, the span of which was barely wider than the Spitz. Oh, you can see the clip of it on Uchu. Thing that means YouTube. <laughs> Indeed, Matthew. That's my opinion, anyway. I mean, I, I've never seen the books of the companies or anything to know what happened, but that 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 is definitely my opinion.
Right, keeping that going. Pierce Bridge is next. Give it a little bit more power, we're not on quite a, a steep slope this time. There we go. How are we doing for time? We're still going to be late. Let's get that extra five mile an hour, shall we? There we go. That'll do. Indeed, you ask you, but then nobody quite knew how to get the money back into the system. That's the problem. It was a financial thing. And actually, if you look at most of the problems today, it's all to do with finances. It's all the money. It's all the money. in a minute. Possibly fab. But that's the way it would have been easier for them to fall into heritage hands. Either that or they would uh, be still be disused but a number of them have been um, put back in or should be put back in. They, they do have the traffic for it. Now that we've got better equipments. Now that we can have things like unmanned stations and you know the big signalling complexes where you don't need signal boxes every three sets of points. You can... Uh, the, the lines might have been profitable because you haven't got all the wages to pay. Right, we're at Pierce Bridge. Let's see how many people's get off. Uh, oh, glitched. Okay, let's get back in the cab then. to breaching. Yes, that is true. That is true, and that's where we end up with the ghost trains and the parli and, and the parliamentaries. But then, then in th them in themselves are fascinating. No problem, Jill. Welcome back. Glad you've come back. Welcome back. Pizza for tea. Nice. What have you got on that pizza, then, Jill? What's everybody else having for tea as well? Wow, never seen that before. No, I've never seen that before, Dash. Right away, the next stop is North Road and then into Bank Top. No, Bake Off. Pork roast. Oh, nice. I'm having beef. Beef roast. No tea for you. Why not, Dash? You need to eat. Chris has got ham. Any pineapple on that one, Chris? As you get closer, Darlington, the lines will get busier. Pay attention to the signals. Thanks for the warning. 
I won't. The problem with Teesside Airport stop and the reason it's not reused is because it's literally half a mile from the terminal, so you'd have to... Oh, gosh. Yeah. I can understand that not being used. All that pass... It's one in Scotland with two passengers a week that's just had its closure denied. Oh, he doesn't like pineapple. Okay. And what have you got on yours, Jill? Don't really do hot drinks in this. Dash dig. Tea is dinner. Food. At five o'clock. Six o'clock. And mine will be nine. Because we, we eat at that time around here. It's back to work tomorrow. No, I was enjoying my time off. There's talk of moving the Teesside stop closer to the airport, but that's all it is at the moment, talk. <sighs> that's all it's probably going to be for the next few years, and then somebody will go, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's have a look into the money, and I go, oh no, we spent the money on something else. Tuesday for you. Hey, who, what? They're closing one platform of that this year entirely, rip, ripping it out. Only gets about three or four flights per day. <sighs> we have so many little airports in this country that aren't used. Badly run. Too many people on the gravy train. It was near the terminal when built, then the airport built a new terminal. Oh, okay. And they didn't think about it. Oh, why are we speeding up? we got to start looking at signals in a minute. Makes it difficult to keep up with chat when i got to watch the signals. But let's not crash. Right, just going steadily down. I'm going to go past your mum's house soon. Hi, Insta's Irascible's mum. I'll give her one of them as well. Uh, we got green. Nice, that means the next one's green as well. Steam! Ginty, please be a ginty. Is it a ginty? Sounds like a black five. Snap! Ooh, it's good. It's on vans. Nice. Oh, she lives in Darlington. Okay, well, not that soon then. Right, that better not be down. No, it's not. That's up as well. Through the jug kill. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> So, how's everybody's week been? It's been such a long time since I last saw any of you. Are right, we going to get a, a, a poppy up? Pop. Up. Oh, nope, maybe not. Must have just been a waypoint then. Right, we're going to end up stuck at a, at a red somewhere. Mold just says okay. Something's just hit that. Don't know. 
your uh, oh gosh loads your week's been okay shock horror you've readjusted your buddy clock so you're no longer oh nice your week has been a decent one nice one Matthew uh, almonds having homemade lasagna oh sounds good not a big lasagna fan but there's a story behind that and I'm not going to tell it. <laughs> Problem for you is Newcastle is just up the road with much more flight choice. Wow. If you've got a better airport, you'll tend to go from that one, won't you? Right, distance up. The question is, though, is that for all three signals? 20 mile an hour limit coming up. Yeah, we'll be fine. Digwist, hello, welcome. Right, let's start breaking through the Morpeth. Which isn't a Morpeth because Morpeth hasn't designed his board yet. But you know what I mean. Uh, Manchester Bradford offering more choice in the other direction. Uh, uh... Hi, Mum. Hi, Irascibles, Mum. Wake up, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I know it's a Sunday, but you shouldn't be sleeping. Wakey, wakey. Uh, right, we've got this one, but we're not down at the 20 yet, so let's take them extra mile an hour off. Uh, I'm good, thanks, Jill. How about you? How's your pizza? Right, nice and steady. Faverdale Works is no longer there. Race to the ground. It's an industrial estate now. Okay. Well, I can't see this signal. Signal. I can see the post, but I can't see the signal. That's not good. Let me move them out of the way. No, I still can't. Oh, we sped up as we were rolling down the hill. I need to slow down a bit more anyway. I don't know what that signal is. Don't see anything on green. No, nothing on green. Right, we're stopping. Okay, thanks, no problem, Jill. No, that's not going to change, is it? So let's stop. Wait for something to go. We're probably waiting for that to pass, aren't we? Darlington Works is now a more reasons to shop at Morrison's. The locomotive works. Right, he's gone. Are we waiting for one the other way? When we time it, there we go. We have the road. Let's move. Come on, kick it up. The new 390s out and looks great. I might get that eventually, one day. train cleared to come down next to us. I can hear it coming. If we slow down, mainly because I need to check the signal, I think it's fine, but then roll. Then we can get the... Yes, got it! Only just mind. <gasps> Double-headed as well. Nice! Speed back up again. Uh, honestly, seeing this extended winter, just want to warm up now. Uh, 
and like snow and the cold for December and January, but it's enough is it? enough is enough. That looked as though there was something in my way for half a minute. It's not, it's carriages on a disconnected piece of track. But it really thought that was in my way. Oh, there's a local on them too. A shunter. Ooh. Right, let's stop. Only let's not stop under here. If I get another train coming through, it's going to burst my eardrums again. There we go. We'll stop there. GWR Small Prairies is now in your collection. Lovely. Enjoy. Let's come out here. Uh, Hope Town Carriage Works on the right is where Tornado was built. Nice! And where the new Prince of Wales loco is being built. I heard about that. And Tornado is not going to be called Tornado anymore, is it? They're changing it. It's going to be 10164 Typhoon. What's your opinions on that? My mate bought it and had a chance to drive it. It's a dream. Nice. Right away, the next and final stop is Bank Top Platform 4. Let's move. Right, they're up, and the next one's up. It's been below zero since early November, and snow since mid-November. Snow is now mostly gone, still below zero every day. Whereabouts do you live, Dash Dick? Also, the local shed next to Hope Town Works is where you spent a few years helping to restore seven, eight... 78018 M2 M2 which is now when you end on nice it's nice when you can get involved with something like that steam train with a snow plow in this weather I wish JT did a snow plow for their uh, locos Oh, you're in Ottawa. That would explain why it's so cold then. Right, I need my next signal. I see a signal that's up, but it's not there. Ah, there's mine. That's fine. We have the green. It's telling me I'm going to be late. Let's get some speeds on. Next signal's up, good. Up and sighted. Right. Let's move. Need to get some of this time off. Canada's capital. We also restored the Jap engine Wickenham trolley there too. It's a rare piece of kit, those Jap V engines. Right, braking again for the 15. The lag is real. It's not quite so real anymore. Brake! Lag is back. See if there we go. Still a bit stuttery, but we we're uh, better than we were. Right, well, I've got a minute to make it into the platform and to stop. A minute to win it. You prefer the tornado name? Shame it broke down. It is a shame it broke down. I wonder what that's going to do for 90 mile an hour running for steam. 
Uh, okay, good, we're going down here. Uh, a crash me production. No, this is Sprinter, this one. Uh, hey, Chris, welcome, by the way. The name change was an April Fool. Ah. I didn't, I, I heard about it, like, last week. How's that an April Fool? Or is that just somebody being foolish? And the April, the internet doesn't get the April Fool's things and just keeps it going. They did it for April Fool's Day. Yeah, well, they should have deleted it then. Mr. Rogers, hello. Right, let's uh, open them. And what were we going to do? Uh, snappity snap. No, we're here. At, oh, that's a nice shot. Let's just perfect it. No, it was fine as it was. Da -dum! Right, there's that one done. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to look to see what was next. Uh, electrical faults. <sighs> After a hectic morning, you are now relieved of D6911. Another driver will now take over to take the DMU onwards for maintenance. Fan tabby dozy. Scenario complete. Lovely. It'll come up as failed because I sped. Enjoyed that. Speeding eight times, look. So, uh. But I, I did, target's complete seven out of seven. I did enjoy that, that was good. Right, next! No, not main menu, back to drive. <laughs> 